the house of rep they don't cover probe until the circumstance where they surrender the emergency diversion of plenty airlines to other destinations across the country and to Accra, Ghana. They have some blame for the matter of the poor landing equipment for the national airport, say plenty billions, so they don't spend their money to buy the equipment, yet passengers that they suffer on top of the things where they don't take for granted. They have say one agency, uh, may they do work on top of the matter when they say they come up body for duty when they say they're supposed to and they go probe them. On account of poor visibility, some foreign airlines are presently diverting their international flights to Accra, Ghana, Unjemina, and some other neighboring countries in its attend with its attendant negative consequences. Aware that the federal government has made budgetary provision for the procurement and installation of modern landing equipment in seven airports in Nigeria, amounting to about 7.8 billion naira in phase one, comprising Lagos, Abuja, Kanu, Portacot, Castina, Maidupuri, and Sokoto airports. Also aware that in, in fact, category three instrument landing system, otherwise known as CAT 3 ILS, has recently been installed by Nigerian Airspace Management Agency, NAMA, at the uh, Motala Mohammed International Airport, Lagos, to enable pilots carry out approach to landing in zero visibility and see the runway, no matter the weather conditions. Yes, for safety reasons, aircraft have to be diverted since the planes cannot land. But if those planes I mean, have been diverted and the passengers have been accommodated either in Abuja or any other place, it is the duty of those airlines to, have, to ensure that those passengers get to their destinations by arranging the local airline. Mr. Speaker, airplanes are designed to fly for 24 hours. But in Nigeria, you find out that our planes only fly from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Aside Abuja Airport or Lagos Airport, we find out that most planes can't fly in the evenings. And this affects the operations of most of these our airlines. And that is why most of our airlines are not doing well. Many of them are going under. Mr. Speaker, the Economic Recovery and Growth Plan is expected to encourage diversification of our economy from oil. The aviation industry is expected to contribute about 10% to our national economy. But today it is not doing that because our aircrafts are not operating optimally. So my take is that it is important that we install these equipment so that our aircrafts can fly 24 hours like they do in other climbs. The instrument landing system is there and we are talking about calibration. And you want to talk about calibrating it for the past three months. Mr. Speaker, I do not think that we should be even be talking about this. The people who are responsible for this situation should simply go. They are negligent. I wouldn't understand before you remove a navigational aid, that the replacement should have been there and the calibration should be immediate. 